While California continues to deal with the record breaking floods after a series of storms pummeled the region, Midwestern states are basking in unusually sunny weather. One America's Rachel Roboto has more on the record high temperatures hitting the central region. While record breaking torrential rains and snowfall bring a wave of flash floods across the West Coast, winter weather appears to be on spring break in the Midwest. According to a recent report, nearly 3,000 record high temperatures were set in the region this month alone. In Milwaukee and several other Wisconsin cities, high temps surged into the upper 60s on Saturday, breaking a 140-year-old record and leaving the Great Lakes practically ice-free. The unusual warm weather sent Wisconsin residents flying walking from the cozy indoors out into the bright sunshine, with some even sporting shorts and sandals. The state's average high temp for mid-February is usually in the low 30s, meaning temperatures rose higher over the weekend than in cities in Alabama, Arizona, California, and Tennessee. And in Illinois, the windy city of Chicago is also seeing record highs, with temperatures likely to rise to 70 degrees Wednesday and last into the end of this week, bringing warm weather that the city usually does not see until mid May. In fact, Chicago will log its 67th straight calendar day Wednesday without receiving one inch of snow, its longest such snow drought on record. Meanwhile, in California, heavy rains have pulled much of the state's northern and central regions out of a decades-long water drought. San Francisco's total rainfall surpassed normal levels for this year's rain season. Experts say the average rainfall for the region is about two feet. But as of Tuesday morning, the amount of rain that fell in the Bay Area since October hit more than 24 inches, breaking the average level amount. River creeks in the Central Valley and around northern California have been reaching flood levels as a series of storms storms continue to pound the state. As of Wednesday, some 14,000 San Jose residents were evacuated from their homes amid flash floods that have killed at least eight people so far. The U.S. 101 freeway closed down Wednesday morning as rising floodwaters swept over lanes. Last weekend, storms evaded Southern California, with heavy rains bringing record floods to the Los Angeles region and prompted mass evacuations in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. But the Golden State is not the only one facing the eye of the storm. This week, northern Nevada is being pummeled by torrential rains and snowstorms, with flash flood and blizzard warnings being issued for residents in the greater Reno-Carson City area. Reno is expected to receive up to three inches of snow by Thursday, and other nearby cities could see up to 10 inches. There's places where the berm is 10 feet over the roof of my truck, so DOT's having a hard time getting it, the snow blown off the highway uh, out of the way so we can make the, the roadway passable. Officials are warning residents to stay indoors and off the roads as whiteout conditions are expected. Rachel Roboto, One America News.